最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。我、哦、当强烈的信念，让命运都无言，浪漫成。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想的爱是深爱，像无尽的存在，却无处不在。维持爱到伤害，远所爱,爱，黯然很多心海。感情一生挂怀，最无私的深爱是绝不要想的。掌声。I'm going to be honest with you. Tianyu is dying. The doctor said he has. Pulmonary fibrosis. Without effective treatment, his condition could get worse. Maybe next year. This morning, a serious car accident happened on Wujiang Road. An oil truck driving northbound on Wujiang Road collided with a private car, and two were seriously injured. To prevent traffic, please try to avoid this dead area. Sorry, the number you.
you have dialed is busy. Please try again later. The number you have dialed is busy. Please try a call later. to eat something. Let's get going. You're finally awake. We were so worried about you. Do you know that you slept for three days? Really? How come you suddenly got into a car accident? Are you cold? Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. How's everything with Ginger? He's fine. Uh, oh. I will go and visit him. Mm. Huh? Come on. But Zhang Chang just Let's woke just up. Let's just go. Wait. We'll come back later. Bye. Bye. Hurry 
hungry? Have some congee. Let's get married. Mr. Chung? Here. Miss Chung? Miss Nyung is not here. She asked me to serve you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can stay here for a few days. I'm sure Nyung Shin will take care of you. Tian Yo. Don't worry. I will be back soon. I promise. How soon exactly? Very soon. to see Grandpa. Grandpa, Zheng Shang and I are getting married. That's why we really hope we could receive your blessing. Tian mm. Su and Tian An have improved a lot. They are now fully capable of managing the company. Mm. I know you're upset, and I know that you're disappointed in me. But starting today, I'm stepping down from my position in the company. I'm no longer connected to the business. Grandpa, your blessing would mean a lot to Zheng Sheng and me. Take care, Grandpa. Brother, are you sure you want to leave the company? Don't you feel sorry that you'll be leaving like this? I will leave sooner or later. And one day you will too. It's no big deal. You have another plan, don't you, brother? I'll be involved in research to develop the nervous system. The nervous system? You know, I've always wanted to do something that's beneficial, not just in terms of profit. That's why I went to the U.S. to study. A lot of people know that. I believe Nyang Shin told me about it. But with Shi Feng being on track again, it can provide you with funds and technology. Do you really think that's easier than starting from scratch? There are pros and cons. If I stay, I have access to all kinds of resources. However, I have to follow certain company rules. Huh. There are too many things that I must take care of and consider. Besides, my purpose of coming back home was to train talents. I've already achieved that goal. Also, the company's business is back on track. So, I think it's time for me to focus on my own research. And how's your preparation going? Well, actually, 
I've been doing research on technologies. So there's really nothing much for me to prepare. Hmm. Hmm. Tenen, while I'm not around, take care of Grandpa. Don't worry, brother. I'll be the one to look after Grandpa. I promise you, I won't upset him. Where's my mama? Shao, have you found my mother? You haven't found her, have you? Will you help me find my mother? That's enough! <laughs> You have to face the truth. Your mother is gone. I'll take care of you from now on, okay? I'm begging you, please, forget me, and just pretend that you've never met me. What do you think of this one? Hmm. I think that one looks good. It ah. could be an option. Okay. Miss Nyong, this way, please. Mm. This one looks good, too. Can I take a look? Of course. This one, right? Mm-hmm. Miss Nyang, you know Mr. Chang so well. The styles you've chosen all fit perfectly for Mr. Chang's bearing. When I saw the news, I really thought you two are compatible. A perfect match. Congratulations. Anyway, you can use the fabrics that I picked. And please make the suits in the style I told you a while ago. Okay, uh, Miss Nyang, please wait here. I'll just go and get your receipt. Hmm. Mr. 
Miss Jung, I made some soup. You should try it. You're a special guest. Miss Young asked me to take care of you. I added some honey in the soup, so I really hope you like the taste. Thank you. Does Mr. Chung come here often? Mr. Chung is busy. He seldom visits. Oh, I need to check the chicken soup. Excuse me. Mm. Wei Young. Wei Young. Wei Young. Wei Young, can you calm down? What is wrong with you? Why are you acting like this just because of a man? Just because of a man? You're no different from me. Wasn't it you who rushed away Japing after receiving Yanze's call? Stop pretending that you don't care and you're just his friend. Deep inside, you know exactly what you really want. They happened to be there while I visited the resort. There's nothing wrong if I help Tianyu as a friend. You need to leave. Zheng Sheng isn't here. Then why are you stopping me from going upstairs? Because I don't want to see you go crazy, you understand? Yes! Yes, I am crazy! And so what if I am? Wei Young, I suggest you should carefully look at yourself in the mirror and see how twisted your behavior has become. Twisted? That's what you think of me? Wei Young, I know you love Liang Shang, but he's about to marry Liang Shang. I've already told you that, right? Impossible. He's mine. There's no way. I'm begging you. It's about time you let him go. Begging me? What a sister you are. All those years, you just keep on telling me one thing. That is, I need to let go of Liang Shang. And why is that? Because if I decide to let go of Liang Shang, he can finally be with Zheng Sheng. And then no one will take Tianyu away from you, right? You are so selfish, <gasps> Liang Shen! Do it. Hello, Jin Liang. Zheng Shang, is everything okay? Everything's fine. Liang Shen's looking after me. Don't worry, just focus on taking care of Chinger. Actually, I'm all alone now. Chinger's back with the Chungs. So it's settled then. I'll pick you up after work? Uh, no need. I'll wait for him. He's gonna come back soon. You've become stronger now. I'm glad to hear that. Hmm. Anyway, while I'm not around, take good care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chung, you're back. Where's Chung? She's in the living room. They're all against it, right? It's okay. I don't care about getting married. As long as I'm with you. I am here.
here today to ask you something. Will you marry me? You're back. Uh, but I thought she and Liang Shang. Truth is, we're getting married. Congratulations. What are you thinking? I'm thinking... about our wedding ceremony. It doesn't matter. Of course it does. Okay, go to sleep. Where are you going? You want me to stay? Before our wedding, we mustn't sleep together. It's our family rule. Go to sleep, okay? Here. I want to do it soon. Please help me find a PR team who can plan a wedding in the shortest possible time. I want you to be in charge of it. Don't you think you're being impulsive? Are you sure about it?
I told Hong to call her Mrs. Chang because I thought she was marrying Liang Shang. I had no idea that you two were getting married until I saw you give her the ring. I'll be going now. Listen, everyone knows that she's only doing this to upset Liang Shang. How could you even take it seriously? Tian Niu, how could you make such a rash decision in this matter? We've been through a lot. I don't want to lose her again. You don't mind if she was the ex-fiancé of Liang Shang? I probably would if I were younger. However, I finally realized that being with her is all that really matters. Are you crazy? Yes, I guess I am. I can only wish you good luck. Thank you for helping me with the preparation. Please wait, sir. Miss Young will be out here soon. Okay. Hello, Miss Nyung. Long time no see. Why are you here? I'm here to fetch Mrs. Chung. <laughs> There's no Mrs. Chung here. I'm here to see Miss Chung. There's only Miss Nyung here. <laughs> After so many days, thank you so much for taking care of Mrs. Chung. I think you're making a mistake. Jiang Shang isn't married yet, so why are you calling her Mrs. Chang? Miss Nyang, so long as you agree to allow me to see Miss Chang, I promise you'll have my support on your business partnership with the Chang family. Is she really that important? <sighs> It looks like you still haven't realized how much Zheng Sheng means to Tian Yo. You should know by now that Tian Yo is willing to give up anything as long as he can be with Zheng Sheng. Anyway, just let me talk to her. All right? She's upstairs. Sorry, if you have suffered. Are you here to ask me to leave him? The ring that you're wearing actually belongs to Tianyo's late grandmother. She asked him to give it to his future wife. I'm here today to ask you a question on behalf of myself, Miss Zhang. Tell me, are you aware about Tianyo's condition. I think you should leave him then. I don't want Tianyo 
to find out that the only reason you agreed to marry him is because of his health condition. You know that will be way too cruel for a proud man. I love him. Okay. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now I feel very relieved. I'm happy for both of you. However, concerning your past, you and Liang Sheng. He's my brother. Okay. I have no worries then. Daniel has been waiting for me to convince his grandpa to give you two his blessing. It's also convenient for him to see you right now, so he decided to move out of the house. This is his current address. You take care. How did you find me here? Why didn't you tell me about what happened? We should face the problem together. I've caused you trouble, even if we're not married yet. This is all my fault. Why did you move here? Grandpa hasn't agreed to our marriage yet. I just don't want to upset him, but you don't have to worry anymore, okay? We've been through so much. You think I'm still scared of trouble? You see this ring? It symbolizes your promise. Listen to me. I will stay with you forever. I promise that. Disobeyed my orders again! Mr. Chung, do you still remember the time when you decided to elope with Madame Yu Mal? That was a long time ago, Chin. But I still remember it. The memory is so vivid, as if it happened yesterday. During your younger years, you were also full of life and strength. You were determined to defend your love. Tianyo is just like a young version of you. I remember when he was seven. He accidentally set the house on fire because of an experiment. <laughs> The next day, you hit him so hard that his behind was badly bruised. I couldn't even stand watching it. But Tian Yao didn't make a sound. He took it quietly. He'd endure anything to himself just to make you happy.
When it comes to business, Tianyo can be tough. He's never sluggish and is firm with his decisions. But towards his family, your grandson is warm and caring. All these years, he never forgets to visit Yu Sing. Don't you understand? Your grandson will never give up Zheng Sheng. However, he doesn't want to hurt you too. That's why, in exchange for your forgiveness, he can only hurt himself. Tianyo is not in good health. He just recovered his sight not too long ago, and now he's having lung problems. I'm really worried about his health. If he keeps hurting himself. The Chung family are all very affectionate. You've been using that thermos for so many years now, yet you don't want a new one, because it's the last item that you've received from your late wife. Family members should always be there for each other and support one another. Mr. Chung, don't be angry anymore. I just realized that this is all because of that wicked Zhou Mu. He deliberately spread rumors about Zheng Sheng marrying Tian Se. And right now... Now our reputation is tarnished. And we are in a dilemma. Be 